people ask, where do you get your ideas? Well, right here. All oh, this is my Martian landscape. Somewhere in this room is an African belt. Just beyond, perhaps, is a small Illinois town where I grew up. And I'm surrounded on every side by my magician's toy shop. I'll never starve here. I just look around, find what I need, and begin. I'm Ray Bradbury. And this is... My name is J.W. Oker, and welcome to another episode of Strange Stuff from My Study. The fourth episode of Strange Stuff from My Study, even though it's taken me an entire year to get to that tiny number. Not because I don't have a lot of strange stuff in my study, but 100% because it's really hard to make videos. But what I want to show you in this episode is uh, pretty special to me, and also seasonally relevant. And that is this witch and this candle holder. Now, at first glance, there's nothing special about either one of these items. I assume third, fourth, fifth glance doesn't do anything better for it. Um, it's just a simple paper mache witch, the type you see, you know, on every single Halloween aisle, all the shops, yard sales. I've probably gone through about half a dozen of these guys over the course of my Halloweens because I always inadvertently manage to crush them because they are pretty delicate. And the other item is more sturdy, it's a metal uh, candle holder uh, surrounded by four jack-o'-lanterns. I don't know how old these are, I don't know who made them, um, there are no identifying marks on either piece to tell me really anything about either one, but I do know one thing about them, and that is before they were my Halloween decorations, they were the Halloween decorations of none other than Ray Bradbury. <laughs> right, Ray Bradbury. If you follow the site at all, you know that I'm a huge fan of Ray Bradbury. And how I got these pieces is not at all an interesting story. It was just at auction. Um, some of his estate came up last year and my wife and I were looking at the catalog and saw these pieces and thought that would be cool if we could you know, own the Halloween decorations of you know, the man who wrote From the Dust Returned or um, Something Wicked This Way Comes or Graveyard for Lunatics or of course the Halloween tree. Um, that would just be perfect. You know, he's one of the greatest scribes of Halloween and to own his Halloween decorations you know, would just be thrilling. Actually, we also said <laughs> it'd be cool to have these um, and also they seem relatively affordable compared to all the other items in the catalog. So we went, you know, we logged into the auction and we ended up getting these pieces. We actually got quite a few pieces, uh, enough I think that we um, accidentally became Ray Bradbury collectors. Uh, but it all started with, you know, the desire for a piece of his Halloween. Uh, now, the cool thing about this candle holder, there, there was four of them, there was a set of four, three of them are in storage. Uh, the fourth always sits in my study, I always put it on the shelf, and the witch sits in the middle of it, and it's kind of my, you know, year-round uh, Ray, Ray, <laughs> Ray Bradbury Halloween piece. But if you look inside this candle holder, you'll see globs of orange wax and half-burned candles. Um, so basically, uh, I assume Ray Bradbury actually used these candles and this candle holder to light one of his Halloweens, at least one of his Halloweens past, which makes it extremely special to me to actually see evidence of one of those kind of moments. And of course I'm excited to you know, insert these into our tradition, our Halloween traditions. This is the first Halloween we've had these items. And so, you know, I, I can imagine us putting them on the mantelpiece, you know, while, while we watch, you know, the animated Halloween tree or while we read one of his books um, or watch an episode of, you know, Ray Bradbury Theater and just have that, you know, <laughs> utter weirdness of being in this Halloween moment, um, watching something he created that adds to our Halloween season while one of his, you know, his Halloween decorations are also there. Um, it's just what I like to do. So that's it. The, not too much of a story, um, but one I find very special um, to own the Halloween decorations of the man who wrote The Halloween Tree. So happy Halloween season.
Well then, right now, what shall it be? Out of all this, what do I choose to make the story? I never know where the next one will take me. The trip, exactly one half exhilaration, exactly one half terror. <laughs>